Hi, good day everyone. This video is about composition of functions. Again, function composition is applying one function to the results of another. So we have this given definition. So let f and g be functions. The composite function denoted by f of g, so we have this small letter o, is defined by f of g of x is actually equals to f of g of x. So the process of obtaining a composite function is called function composition. So I have different set of functions here and let's try to solve composition. So we have f of x equals to 2x plus 1, q of x as x squared minus 2x plus 2, r of x as 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1, g of x as square root of x plus 1, and capital F of x is equals to the floor of x plus 1. Okay, so let's use these given examples and let's answer our problem number one. Okay, so let's say we have this given um, problem. Okay, so we use a different set of um, functions here. Let's try to solve this example number one. Let's say we are asked to um, solve g of f of x. Alright, so again, according to our definition, this is actually similar to um, this notation so we can write this one as g okay, of f of x so this composition of function is actually one of the operations or this, this is under operations of functions wherein it looks like we are evaluating a function with the use of another function as our input All right so what is our technique to solve this one so again so we have different set of functions or letters here our technique here is number one let's encode or identify what will be your first letter or first function and encode its content so to our given problem we have this letter g as our first function and according to our given set of examples g is actually equals to square root of x plus one okay and after that since that is our first function step number two is to plug the contents of our second letter or the second function to the variables of our first function that means if we have square root of x plus 1 as our first function, we have this variable x, so we need to input or plug all of the values of f okay, to this variable. So let's try to plug in the values. So again, we have this variable x, so it will give us, so since the contents of f of x is 2x plus 1, so that means we have square root of the variable x, we have um, f of x, Okay, and that is plus 1. And f of x is actually equals to 2x plus 1 and copy the remaining plus 1. So after that, just simplify this given expression. So just combine like terms if we have like terms and simplify. So according to this given expression, we have these terms, okay, our constant term or numbers, just add and we had this given answer. Therefore, it will give us square root of 2x and 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So that is plus 2. And that is our final answer. Okay, that is square root of 2x plus 2. Right, so let's try to solve another problem. So how about this? Let's say we have this given problem. Let's say we have q of f. So q f of x. Okay, so same procedure. Right, so number one is um just identify your first function or letter, and encode its content. So for to our given problem, we have this um function q, right? So q is equals to x squared minus two x plus two, right? After that, all of the variables here, so let's replace it as the function f or our second function. So that means if you want to um illustrate that it will give us this so we have x or the function f or f of x squared minus 2 times f of x plus 2 all right and then let's plug in all of our um, values for f of x so according to our given um, illustration here we have f of x as 2x plus 1 therefore we have 2x plus 1 squared minus 2 times another value of f of x which is 2x plus 1 and plus 2. After that just simplify this given expression. So we have the square of binomial 
so this is actually equals okay this one okay is actually equals to um, 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1 all right and later we will distribute the value of 2 here and combine like terms so but first um, let's simplify this one so to simplify this given expression just apply FOIL method okay so we have 2x times 2x so that is equals to 4x squared 2x times 1 that is plus 2x and we have 1 times 2x that is 2x and 1 times 1 that is equals to positive 1 and simplify so let's combine like terms here we have 2x and another 2x therefore it will give us 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x that is equals to 4x and copy the remaining plus 1 all right therefore the value of this 2x plus 1 squared all right so that expression is actually equals to this one okay so let's replace the value therefore if you want to rewrite this it will give us 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 okay and copy the remaining values we have minus 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 2 all right so after that again let's distribute the value of 2 here so let's simplify this expression before we um, combine like terms okay um, therefore it will give us negative 2 times 2x so that I that is actually equals to negative 4x next we have negative 2 times 1 that is minus 2 or negative 2 all right and then copy the remaining values so we have plus 2 and we have this value as 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 right so um, our final step here is to just um, simplify or combine like terms so I think we have this set of like terms here we have 4x and 4x and we have positive 1 negative 2 and positive 2 as our like terms so let's combine those terms so if you want to rewrite this one it will give us 4x squared right and we have plus 4x minus 4x and we have plus 1 minus 2 and plus 2 and let's simplify this All right so if we have this given set of values therefore th our final answer here is 4x squared next what is 4x minus 4x so that is equal to 0 so just skip that part and we have this constants 1 minus 2 is negative 1 negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1 therefore the final answer for this given problem is 4x squared plus 1 that is our final answer <coughs> okay so that is for um, q of f of x right so let's try to solve another problem so what if um, since that is for q of f of x let's try to um, um, let's say solve for f of q okay so let's try to prove is this given expression is equal to f of q of x right so I think that is not equal okay so let's try to prove this one so let's try to um, solve our next problem which is um, we have f of q of x right so again same procedure dear students just um, identify your first function and plug in the values of x as our second function so we have this first letter of first function as 2x plus 1 so we have 2x plus 1 okay that is according to our illustration here or problem here and we have the second function as q and q is equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2 so let's plug in so again it will give us 2 times the function q or q of x plus 1 right and that is equals to 2 times the function q which is equals to x squared minus 2x plus 2 and copy the remaining plus 1 right so just simplify this one so th let's distribute the value of 2 okay so each term so we have 2 times x squared that is 2x squared we have 2 times negative 2x that is negative 4x and we also have 2 times positive 2 which is equals to positive 4 right so that is our product and copy the remaining plus 1 
Okay? So just combine like terms and simplify and we have this final answer. So I think we need to combine this 4 and 1 as our constants. Therefore, the final answer for this given problem, we have 2x squared minus 4x and 4 plus 1 that is equals to positive 5. So we have this final answer 2x squared plus minus 4x plus 5. Right? So therefore, according to our test, um, again, q of f of x is not equal, obviously that is not equal to f of u of x. Okay? Um, this one will, um, will help us to avoid confusion okay, in terms of functions. And let's try to solve another set of problems. Let's say we have um, f of r, right? So let's say we have f of r and x, right? So we have this given problem. So um, I encourage you to pause the video and let's try to um, solve it on your own, right? And we will double check your answer. Right, so let's um, check your answers. Now, um, again, identify the first letter. That is function f or f of x, which is equals to 2x plus 1. We have 2x plus 1. Again, let's replace the variables x here, okay, or x as our function r or our second function. Therefore, that is equals to 2 times the function r, r of x plus 1. And the contents of function r, we have 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. So let's um, encode that or plug that to our function. So it will give us 2 times 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 and plus 1. Right? So just simplify this. Okay? So I think we need to distribute the value of 2 here. Right? So it will give us um, that is equals to 2 times 2x that is 4x and 2 times 1 that is positive 2 so th that is 4x plus 2 all over x minus 1 plus 1 okay so since we have this given expression that is not yet our final answer okay so we need to simplify this given expression okay um, I think we need to um, first identify what will be the LCD for this given problem. Okay, so since it looks like we are adding a whole number and a fraction. Okay, so again, to um, identify the LCD, just observe what are the values of your denominator. So we have invisible one here, and obviously the value of our LCD is x minus 1. Okay, so let's um, use x minus 1 as our LCD and let's simplify this given expression. So we have x minus 1. So same procedure. We need to divide our LCD to our first denominator and multiply the answer to its corresponding numerator. So we have x minus 1 times x minus 1, that is 1. 1 times 4x plus 2 is actually equals to 4x plus 2. So do the same thing to our second um, term, which is 1. So again, x minus 1 divided by invisible 1. So the answer is x minus 1. And x minus 1 times its numerator, which is 1. So it will give us plus 1 times, let's that is 1 times x minus 1, or simply x minus 1. Okay, because we want to multiply this to 1. So we have this given um, expression and just simplify this. So therefore, um, I think we need to combine like terms here and um, we have our final answer. So we have terms as 4x and x as our like terms and we also have constants as 2 and negative 1. So just combine those terms. We have 4x plus x that is 5x and 2 minus 1 or we, we, um, we need to add 2 and negative 1. So that is actually equals to positive 1. And copy our denominator which is x minus 1. And that is our final answer for this given problem. Okay? So that is for f of r of x. Now, let's try to answer this um, next problem. Let's say we have this um, function capital F. Okay? Let's say we have f of r so I will write it again. So we have f of r of x. 
Okay, so we need to use capital um, F, okay, the function capital F, and we need to plug in the, the values of R for that given um, problem. Okay, so since we have this given um, function, so we again identify our first function, which is capital F or function F, so that is um, equals to the 4 of x plus 1. Okay, and let's insert the contents or plug in the contents of function R. So that means it will give us okay, the 4 of, sorry, that is 4 of x or 4 of r of x plus 1. And the contents of function R, so we have this R is equals to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. So this encode 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. And we need to add 1. Alright? So according to our given um, problem, since um, we need to simply add this one, so let's try to um, change our given problem. Alright? Let's try to simplify this with a given input. So what do you mean by that? So we have here as our input x, and let's try to use 5 for this given problem. Now what do you mean by that value? So we have f of r of 5. That means we need to replace the values of x as 5. Right? So we um, solve for the composition and after that we need to change the variable x as 5. So therefore we have here set of values as x, change it and replace it as 5. So therefore it will give us 4 of 2 times, so we have 5 plus 1 all over 5 again minus 1. And we need to add the value later to 1. So next, let's simplify this given expression. So this is actually equal to the 4 of 2 times 5, that is 10. So we have 10 plus 1 all over 5 minus 1, that is 4. And add 1. Alright, so just add the values. So we have 10 plus 1, that is equals, okay, that is equals to 11 all over 4 plus 1. So we have 11 over 4 plus 1. Now, we have this given symbol, okay? So that is actually um, known as the floor of x or this symbol again. So the greatest integer, that means... Um, it looks like flooring. So if you know the concept of ceiling and flooring, so again, that is actually equal to this. So let's say we have, um, let's say we have 2.3. If we have this given symbol, that is automatically equal to 2. Right? So same with this one. Let's say we have 4.1. If we have this symbol, that is equal to 4. That is flooring. So unlike ceiling, so ceiling is, we have this, let's say we have 2.1 we have the symbol ceiling that is automatically equals to 3. Alright? So therefore, the students are given problem since we have um, 4 of 11 over 4. Right? So I will zoom this one. So if you want to divide 11 over 4, that is approximately 2 point, okay, 2 point something. Alright? So we have this remainder 3 okay, for this given problem. So 11 divided by um, 4, that is 2.75. Right, so 2.75 plus 1. So since we have this given symbol, automatically the value of this um, 1, 2.75, will be equal to 3. Or 2 alone. Okay, so we have 2 because we have 2.75 and add it to 1. Therefore, the answer is 3. So the final answer for this given problem is 3. Right, so that's the entire concept of... Um, composite function okay so just apply the same rule and same concept so just identify your first letter and plug in the contents of your second function to the variables of your first function All right so thank you so much everyone have a nice day and god bless